there, huh? Mm -hmm. Gone now, I see. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, you're so glad that God is using you and you're blessed and uh, you want God to use you among the young people. We got to put the brakes on some aspects of your life because in the past you went hog wild and pig crazy, so we got to kind of slow you down a little. <laughs> and, and get you get you more modest and more balanced and more sort of serious and more gra grave, see, so that God can use you the way you're dreaming about him using. And, uh, of course, it's going to require a little sacrifice on your part, but you don't mind making a sacrifice for God. Oh, no. Well, you can't get the tattoos off on you, but you can get them earrings off in your ears, these things. Mm -hmm. So you store them somewhere or have a yard sale or something of the nature. And uh, let God keep on speaking to you just like he just did. That's how you're used of God. You hear the voice and you obey it. See? Do not forget what I told you. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Glory to God. Heal this man's body. Heal his nerves. Let him relax. Take his stress. Blood pressure is trying to go up, go down. When the, you can always tell. You feel a little dizzy-headed when it goes up. Down she goes, vertigo, leaves with it. Someone said, you know, I, I wanted a different prophecy. Eat your parched corn. <laughs> it means so much to your future. You're going to eat fruit in the land this year. At least go through boot camp and condition yourself. Lord Jesus is down. Back ache cease. Hallelujah. All right, you're a strong man, but you have weakness in your legs. God's healing your legs now. Jump on your feet and praise him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Pocket Pendra. You gotta work on your feet. You're not going to go sit down for an hour of recess, uh, lunch break, sticking your feet up on a hassock, on a chair, on a wall. You got new legs. Amen. Hallelujah. Your eyes are hazing too. God, clean off his eyeballs. Take the f floaters and the spots and the worms and the wires and the threads. Peel them. Hallelujah. There goes the fog and the mist. Rejoice. Thank God. Hallelujah to God. Come on down here. I raise up hands. What this is, I don't know if a doctor's ever told you this. No, you don't go to doctors much. It's a hormone imbalance, hormone imbalance. It's leaving you now. Hormone imbalance be healed. You can feel it when it starts to react. It, it creates a fluid. It starts here and it starts here. It'll happen on both sides. Gone it is. Now your feet bother you too. Your feet. You're going flat footed. Here comes the bones. They're turning into bridges and arches. It was your weight that did that to your feet. And now I say your weight's coming off in you. Thyroid heal. Take care of the metabolism. Metas metabolism will take care of the weight. In Jesus' name. One last thing. You have a, an allergy in your body. This, this is an allergy. It affects your skin. And it'll give you a burning sensation in your body to come in the lower areas, female areas of your body. When it comes, it's chronic. That's allergy. That's an allergic burning. Cease from the skin. Jesus' name is done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I didn't pray for you yet. Huh? 
Are you ready? Uh, I guess you don't care how many backs I've prayed for tonight, as long as yours is healed. Uh, yes. That's what I thought. Check your back. Touch your toes and shake your back. Well, what you got? It's good. It's good. Hallelujah to God. All right, God's touching your thyroid too. Well, I have surgery tonight without a scar. It is. In Jesus' name. You have an allergy upon your skin, itch, rash, creepy crawly, dryness. You want the dryness to leave your skin. There it goes. Your eyes are blurring. Receive your sight. Carpal tunnel is weak in your right wrist. You right-handed? Yes. Thought so. Bye-bye, devil. <laughs> Make a fist. How's that? Yeah. Ah, dizzy-headedness. <laughs> Out it comes. I'm trying to close my eyes. If somebody would blindfold me, I'd stop seeing all these things. But you see, you need to write this down in your prophecy book. It's a deep definition. A seer is one who sees. Now that's deep. <laughs> Hallelujah. But... This has followed me all my life, and this is why I can't. God, don't let me do nothing else but this. This came to me in 66, and healing came to me in 65, so it's been around for a while. And, of course, Paul said, you have your senses exercised by your reason of use. Yes. How can I get my gift strong? Go to Walmart. Spend the day. Start conversations and pray for everybody you talk to. They're just, they're just like you. Same problems that you've had. But they'll throw me out of Walmart. No, they'll never throw you out of Walmart. <laughs> you know why? I'll tell you why they'll never do it. Because nobody works the floor. It's a wide open field. You go to Walmart, take you 10 minutes to find somebody to wait on you. You haven't got to worry about them throwing you out because you're praying for somebody. It's wide open. Get out there and get to work. Exercise your gospelizing skills. It'll get sharp and strong, you see. I believe the only thing that's going to convert people and save people in this last day it's the power of the demonstration. Right. Ain't nothing else going to do it. Yes. They got their minds, but they've all been to Harvard. You can't change their thinking. Takes an intervention from another world to change their thinking. When they find out it's real, then they'll dig for it. And that's how you fill the church up, by the way. Not program. Okay, I'm going to try to escape here if I can find somebody to... Uh, no, you're not going to let me go, are you? That's strange, too, because under normal circumstances, he'd be running for the bleachers by now. Son, hear me. God's making a man out of you tonight. You have become a man of God. And you will always be a man and a man of God. Thus saith the Lord. Hushabahatai. Thank God for it, son. At least you know who you are now. And that's what you'll be to doomsday. Hushabahatai. I hear Paul saying, Oh God, grant with all boldness we might preach this gospel. Let us pray for me, said Paul. I, I want to preach this word boldly that I can open my mouth and preach it boldly how many knows that you've not been around no political correctness tonight kind of sounds like Trump don't it <laughs> heal this body 
Let this man have new bones. Don't let him be a cripple when Jesus blows that horn. Hallelujah. Kapandron shai. Hallelujah. Bless my brother who has the ministry of helps. What a help he's going to be from now on. Hallelujah. Hands and grab a hold of that ministry of helps. Glory to God. Boy, they're lining up now. Nerves, low blood, tired blood, be healed. <sighs> ah. Memories, flashbacks, worries. You're not going to be a worry wart no more. We're taking the warts off in you right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God he's answered your prayer. You're facing a big issue. I know you're facing a big issue. God's going to turn it in your favor. And there's going to be harmony back in your family, back in the house. Those who don't speak are going to speak again. Peace will be there tonight when you get home. It'll surprise you when you walk to the door. Hey, this, is this the same house? Peace will be there. Hallelujah. Now you're trying to find out what to do. You're a one-on-one -on -one personal evangelist. Evangelist. Though you may never leave town. You're going to find the strangers. In you're a Walmart case. <laughs> oh, go find them. And fear not. God will be with you. You're going to win souls. You're going to be a soul winner because it's the only reward in heaven is for souls. Nothing else. That's where the reward lays. Jesus' name. Give me some windmill on that left side. Loosen it. In Jesus' name, let it loosen. Mm, much better. Yeah. I was going to say you can do it, but God's doing it for you. All right. Now, is it hurting you now? Huh? Man out. He's used new muscles. He's stretching it like the man who stretched his withered hand in the synagogue. The stretching makes the muscles hurt because they've not been used. It's called no stingum, no curum. Jesus' name. Now let the pain be gone. Much better now. Huh? And he that begins a good work in you shall perform it unto the day of Jesus Christ. Now, if you want it perfect, go to Walmart. <laughs> you're a fig tree and you're in a vineyard. That don't work good unless there's fruit on the fig tree. There's no reason to leave the fig tree there. You know the word. Thank God. Well, am I winding down here? What is it? <laughs> I didn't pray for you yet. I didn't. Nope. Well, okay. Raise up your hands. Everyone said amen. amen. You got pain in your body now? You got it in your back? Yes. I see it. Out. Go and don't come back <laughs> to this back. Jesus' name. Walk toward me now. Come forth. It what? The back is better. It's a little bit in the hips still. A little bit of nip. Hips. <laughs> well, let's nip the nip. Nip it in the bottle, God. There it goes, walk and see. Well, 
Well, that's quite a long walk. How'd it feel? Good. Weird. Like, like you're in a, in, a in a trance, in a cloud. Well, that's understandable. We're all in the spirit around here. <laughs> Remember, repeat after me, health, health. Strength, strength, longevity. longevity. Remember that from last year? Yeah. Say it again, what? Health, strength, longevity. Burn it now. Health, strength, longevity. Five minutes a week till Jesus comes. That's the deal. Paul said, I'm willing to spend and be spent for you. But I got to get it back. Other people are waiting. And I've been 55 years doing this since it's, it's different now. I can't explain. It makes me mad. My spirit's willing. My flesh is weak, you see. Uh, since August, I've been preaching a month and off a month, preaching a month and off a month. And that ain't me. I'm used to going every night of my life. See? But this has started to happen to me. So I have, since I was 18 years old, in every church, gotten people to join a prayer band for five minutes a week, which is less than a minute a day, for those three things. It has kept me going. And you're, you're joining that prayer band will keep me going. And I'm not selfish. I'll share the souls with you. Since some of you are kind of poor soul winners, but I got to get there and get my hands on them first. Health, strength, longevity. All right, who's going to join my prayer band till Jesus comes? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty-four, fifty, sixty, seventy, ninety-one, twenty-two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-one, two, thirty-two. Thank you, Lord, for thirty-two. Maybe I'll make it another 32 years, should you tarry. Okay. There are what? One, two, three, four, five. You said young people. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There, there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine young people. Hallelujah. All right, young people. Hallelujah. Now we've got a number, three, six, nine. What do we got, ten now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there's ten. Uh, what we're going to do here, we're going to multiply this young people's group. We're going to multiply it. Now, I don't mean for you to have children out of marriage. <laughs> you're going to get married for that stuff starts. But a lot of you, you're too young to get married. Enjoy the present before all your troubles begins. You're going to multiply after this fashion. You're going to reach other young people and I'm going to decree that the 10 of you will reach 10 apiece, 10 apiece to build the young people in this church so that this church will be known as a young person's church when most churches in the United States today are old people's churches. They don't go to church. Young people don't go to church. But you've seen what you need to do tonight. That's what will win young people. They want life. They want to see something happening. Okay? We're going to multiply times 10. This young people's group. Just before I pray, was this the church that I came to years ago 
and prayed for uh, the young couples in this church to have babies. Does anybody remember that? Was this the church, Sylvia? It was this church. Now, that's been years ago. Let me tell you a story about it. Uh, they all, there were a lot of couples, none of them had any babies. These married couples, all right? So we did what we're doing here. This is different, of course, but for them, we were praying that those couples would have children. I came back to this church one year later, and I always remember this because I preach about this, and 12 couples, their wives were pregnant. Now, I'm surprised that you don't remember that. It must have been many years ago. But that happened here in this church. If that can happen, this can happen. Put your hands up. Now, Lord Jesus Christ, these young people need to multiply in this church that this might be a young person's church. Yes. Oh, and even the leadership will depend upon the elders and the wisdom and the wise and this, the seasoned. But there'll be a lot of young people in this church after this prayer. They're going to start bringing them in. Go after them. Talk to them. Get them here. God will do the rest. Jesus' name, anoint these all ten to become soul winners and magnets and drawing cards and cause young people to fellowship and come together. Use this boy and let him win ten. Let this girl win ten. Oh, rejoice, little girl. Do you know you're going to win 10 to God? Yes, sir. You know that? Yes, sir. Did you know that one of them is going to be special to you, that you win? <laughs> and I'll give you a sign. He is taller than you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. 10, I say. 10, I say. 10, 10, I say. Bring in 10. Build this congregation. All you young people, fill this church of young people. It's decreed. Kushabahata. Okay. I'm not supposed to stay in church so long if it wasn't for the fact it was a one-night meeting. I'd have been already gone. Uh, Pastor, you may rescue me now. You know, I, I have two things. I want to compliment you uh, as your pastor. I learn a lot from prophets when they come in and they begin to read your books, you know. But you have faith. I saw faith tonight. And I saw strength. And I just commend you for that. And as far as Freddie goes, I am so overwhelmed with his faithfulness through the years. Uh, Sylvia, you all have 11 children? Yes, we do. Okay, so you got nine boys in the last... Set was twin girls. And I just think that is so marvelous. And that they're all serving the Lord. They all play an instrument. And I remember, and please don't take this wrong, but when they would come and all the kids that's with them had to tell their Bible verse. And I'm thinking, Freddie, you know, that's a lot of kids. That's a lot of time. You know, we got all these people. But boy, it paid off, didn't it? It paid off. Well, I love Freddie and Sylvia. I just... I just feel so, I just, I feel so honored for them to come here. And I tell you what, they build, they build something in you. They're putting something in you. And I just appreciate you. I just appreciate you so much. And so, you know, keep them, keep them in your prayers. Good night and God bless you.